How are you, my friends? In this video, I'm presenting six old exams questions related to angle measure and circular motion. This is related to lectures nine and 10 in pre-calculus course. Question number one, we need to find an angle between zero and 360, which is a positive angle, coterminal to the angles 897 minus 95 minus 25 pi over 4. See, the whole idea is to use this formula for coterminal. Either we have to subtract multiples of 2 pi or multiples of 360. 897 is a large angle, so we can subtract as many 360 as we can. So if we subtract here two complete cycles, each complete cycle is 360. So subtract 897 minus 720, you get 177, which is uh, in quadrant 2. <clears throat> so this is the coterminal. Remember, when you use these two formulas, always k is integer. Minus 95 is a negative angle, so we have to add multiples of 360. You can add 1 360, 2 360s, 3 360s, until you get positive angle between zero and 360. So if we add here one, see minus 95, if we add one complete cycle 360, 360 minus 95 will be 265. So 265 lies in quadrant three, minus 25 pi over four. This is a negative angle also in radians. So we have to add <clears throat> k times 2 pi, you see, you can put here any number until you get the first angle between 0 and 2 pi. So we add 4 times that, because 4 times 2, 8, when you find the LCD here is, is 4, when you add the fractions, you get 32. <clears throat> 32 pi minus 25 pi is 7 pi over 4. That's the positive angle, the first positive angle between 0 and 2 pi, so which is in quadrant 4. Now, question number 2, if x is the smallest positive angle coterminal with minus 29 pi over 5 radians, and capital Y is the supplementary angle of 11 pi over 18, find x plus y in degrees. So we have to do three things here. We have to find the coterminal of this angle, and then we have to find the supplementary, <coughs> then convert to degrees, sorry. So x will be minus 29 pi over five. I have to add here six pi. Why six pi? Six pi means three complete cycles, three times two pi. If you find here the LCD, you multiply five times the six, you get 30. So 30 pi, and there is minus 29 pi, you will get the first positive angle between zero and two pi, which is pi over five. Now pi over five in radians, you have to convert to degrees, multiply by 180 over pi. When you simplify the numbers, you get 36 degrees is the capital X. Now capital Y, this is the supplementary, so pi, minus 11 pi over 18. Also here you add the fractions. So this is 18 pi minus 11 pi, 7 pi over 18, convert to degrees, multiply by 180 over pi, you get 70 degrees. Now you add 36 plus 70, which is 106 degrees x plus y. Find the degree measure. Degree measure means find the angle in degrees of the central angle <clears throat> of a circle of circumference 144 over 5 meters that intercepts an arc of length 8 meters. So you have to look at the given here. The given is we have a circle and there is a circumference. You see capital C, 2 pi r is equal to this number here, 144 over 5 meters. And this is the arc of length. So this is the length of the arc, which is S. Okay, so now look at the given here, circumference 
144 over 5 meters. S is 8 meters, right? S is 8 meters, yes. We need the degree measure. Let theta be the angle. We know the formula for circumference, capital C, 2 pi r. So I put here 144 over 5 is equal to 2 pi r. All right. So we can find r. So r will be 72 over 5 pi meters. Not an easy, nice number, but this is the radius. 72 over 5 pi meters. Now, we know s equals r theta. Remember the formula, s equals r theta. So theta will be s over r. Theta will be 8. S is 8. R 72 divided by 5 pi. See, we have here two fractions, division of two fractions. We leave the first one, and then we multiply by the reciprocal of the denominator. So 5 pi over 72. When you simplify, you get 5 pi over 9 radians. That's the angle radians theta. Convert theta to degrees. So 5 pi over 9 multiplied by 180 over pi. Cancel the pi. Simplify, you get 100 degrees is the angle. Now we have here and uh, tires of a car have a diameter. See, we have a car. The diameter of the tires 300 over pi centimeters and rotating at 500 revolutions per minute. We need to find the speed of the car in kilometers per hour. Also, look at the given. See, we have a centimeters here. We have to convert for sure here, kilometers. And then this is per minute, revolution per minute. And then we have to convert it to hour. That's a nice question here. So the diameter now 300 over pi, we know the diameter is two times the radius. So to find the radius, divide the diameter by two. See, when you divide this by two, that means you multiply by half. So R will be 150 over pi centimeters. Leave it. This is the radius. Now W, the angular speed is 500 revolutions. If the revolution is two pi, that's radian per minute. It's given. Okay, so this is 1000 pi radian per minute. Now every hour is 60 minutes. See here, radian per minute. So I multiply by 60, <coughs> 1000 pi, it will be radian per hour, 60,000 pi radian per hour. This is W. Now I know the formula V equals RW. V is the linear speed that we need. <coughs> Radius we already found, 150 over pi, and this is W60,000 pi centimeters per hour. Now we know that every kilometer is 1,000 meters and one meter is 100 centimeters. So one kilometer will be 100,000 centimeters. So here we divide by this V, the linear speed, we divide by 100,000 to get kilometer per hour. So when you cancel the zeros here, you get V, the linear speed is 90, speed of the car, 90 kilometers per hour. Now we have a pulley rotating 650 times per minute. Through how many degrees will a point on the edge of the pulley move in two over three seconds? Now for question number five, let's write the given 650 times means 650 revolutions per minute and we have to find how many degrees in the time two over three seconds so the pulley rotates 650 revolution in one minute and every one minute is 60 seconds so we divide 650 by 60 we get 65 over six revolutions now leave it in two over three seconds the pulley will rotate this is the revolution, 65 over 6, multiplied by the time, 2 over 3. Leave it now. Every revolution is 360 degrees. So now we multiply 65 over 6 times 2 over 3. 
times every revolution is 360 degrees. Simplify and cancel here until you get 2600 degrees in two over three seconds. Now this question number six, we have two gears. They are rotating. The smaller gear has a radius three centimeters and the larger gear has a radius five centimeters. The smaller gear rotates through an angle of 225 in how many degrees will the larger gear rotate? So we know when they rotate, they will have the same S, the same distance, the same, the, the, the arc of the length will be the same in that case. So also we have to take the angle 225 degrees and then convert it to radians. So it will be five pi over four. This is for the smaller gear. So we know the formula S equals R theta. Uh, radius uh, will be three, it's given there. And theta in radians should be in radians. You cannot use the degrees here. Five pi over four. So this is 15 pi over four centimeters. This is the S, the length of the arc. So S for the smaller is the same as S for the larger gear. So as now we know 15 pi over four, I put R here is five, and then I put theta for the larger gear. So theta will be three pi over four. Remember in this formula, every time you use it, S equals R theta, it will be in radians. Three pi over four converted to degrees, because the question says find in degrees. So you multiply by 180 over pi, it will be 100. 35 degrees. Now, these are the answers of the questions we just uh, did here, the six questions. For other examples, please, if you want to see other examples and the rules and all this, you can go uh, pre-calculus course, lecture 10 and lecture 9, angle measure and circular motion. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, you can subscribe and share it with your friends. I wish I can see you in another video with another topic. Thank you very much.